quarterfinals, hundred thousand dollar challenge, a home city Johannesburg. How does it feel? It feels great. You know, um, playing as well as I did in front of my family, my friends. You know, using the wild card well that the federation gave me, it feels great. It really does. Just go through that match. I mean, it was a, a big one. Three three breakers, each of them tight. Um, a lot of mental toughness there, and. Uh, you know, have you got anything left? Yeah, no, I actually feel okay, you know. Um, I do a ton of fitness at home. I do a lot of swimming, which helps the breathing, and uh, I feel like it paid off. Besides staying mentally strong, I felt good out there, and uh, everyone was telling me he was really hurting and he was tired, so they gave me confidence to just keep grinding, you know. If the, if the points went long, I felt good. didn't matter. Um, you've been in the States for a while, um, you know, college, and uh, would, would you suggest that it's a, it's a good route for a player to go um, instead of just turning pro straight away? Uh, absolutely. I think it's a fantastic way to go. I think um, college these days, the level is so high. If you look at a lot of the college guys on the tour now, they, you know, in the past a lot of the top guys would maybe be four or five hundred, but these days if you're top in college, you're top one, two hundred in the world. It develops your doubles game, it gives you some time to get stronger. You know, your physio is there, the facilities are incredible. Um, I'd definitely recommend it to uh, juniors to do that instead of turning pro at 17. When you turn pro, when did you turn pro? And just give us a little bit of a run to uh, in your, your, your pro uh, career to now. Um, basically a year and a half ago I graduated from Georgia Tech with a degree in finance. Um, that was four years of college. It was a grind, you know, it's, it's long days, a lot of studying, a lot of tennis. So then you finish college and it's time to go pro and you start traveling and you, you sometimes have a coach with you, sometimes you don't depending on money. And, um, you know, the first year was tough. To be honest, I, it, it was tough being by myself because at college you have a team with you, um, you have supporters with you, all of a sudden you're by yourself. So um, my first year was tough. You know, I had a couple good wins. I just wasn't getting over the hump and I, I learned some things. I got in better shape. And then uh, the beginning of this year has been completely different. I've had a couple good wins over the number one seeds in some tournaments. Some players ranked in the top 200. So that gave me confidence and um, I'm happy I could play so well in my home tournament. What would you say is Dean O'Brien off the court? Just give us a bit um, of a breakdown who you are. I'd like to say a nice guy. I feel like all of my peers really like me. Um, I'm very chilled. I work extremely hard. Um, you know, I feel like I'm nice to everyone. I never really get upset. I'm just very relaxed, calm guy. And uh, any any players that you you look at um, on the pro circuit that that have you know inspired you maybe through your career? Nadal. I, I just love watching Nadal. I feel like the guy is such a champion and um, just so strong, so fast, so physical, mental. And also, off the court, I mean, you can ask anyone. He's nicer than anyone. So I think he's a real mo role model and fantastic for the sport. Where do you see Dean O'Brien going? Well, my goals have been set. I'd like to be uh, top 100 in the world singles and top 50 in the world doubles. Um, this is a great uh, start. Um, and this hopefully it can, you know, this will be the start of a great career. Cool.